so did you do what i asked you to in the last video did you watch loads of really awful films on netflix please just comment down below on which were the truly truly worst films so that i can go and watch them um now some of you may be perfectly happy watching netflix films and eating way too much chocolate and chatting to your nan and if you are that's lovely please keep doing that for another week and a half um you should probably make sure you've got any homework that's due like done um but apart from that if you don't want to do any revision then i'm not going to ask you to do any revision um however oh, i hate that word if you are a little bit bored and you have managed to watch the whole of netflix because you know we've been in lockdown for a while now i've managed to watch like 90 percent of netflix Although quite a lot of that was watching Fine and Sam over and over and over again. The same episode of Fine and Sam over and over and over again. Anyway, enough about my trauma. Um, if you are a little bit bored of watching Netflix, then there are some useful things that you can do. Now, I am not asking you to start doing loads and loads of revision for your A-levels. I'm asking you to do things that will make your life a little bit easier in the future um for example flashcards i'm a big fan of flashcards um there are lots of useful things you can put on flashcards um if you need to know definitions for anything whether it is languages or whether it is a level biology um flashcards are a great way to do it now the act of making the flashcards writing them out is a useful source of revision even if you are just copying from a revision guide or a video or wherever that is a useful source of revision and then you have made yourself something that will be really useful in the future you will use it to revise for your year 13 exams you will i promise they are super super useful and it is the kind of soft gentle revision that makes you feel good because you are actively doing something but i'm not getting you to sit down and do a two hour practice paper because that would be horrific at the moment so that's kind of a useful thing that you can be doing um organizing your folders um you have had a term of year 12 and for gcse you probably had exercise books which your teacher checks on a regular basis and they were marked and you, know, you had to keep them neat for a level you generally have folders with bits of papers in and soon if it hasn't been done already your teachers will be doing a fold check yes these things exist we have to check your folders in and your teacher will check them and say you're missing this you need to do this so get your folders up to date you are going to need a big lever arch folder you're going to need some dividers you're going to need some post-it notes you're going to need lots of paper and lots of pretty kind of pens um write up your notes in neat add in examples get your folders in order another brilliant thing you can do now at this time is print off a couple of copies of each of the exam papers single-sided please and then pop them into your folder next to the relevant question so if you've written up all your nice neat notes for cells find as many exam questions as you can on cells print out two or three copies and then just file them next to your notes on sales i'm not asking you to do the questions just put them there for later so that when you come to your end of year 12 exams or your year 13 exams you've got your notes and then you've got the exam questions right after it so it is kind of like making your own personalized revision guide um so that is a really really useful thing for you to be doing because it can feel really frustrating like you want to get on with things or you want to do things but i really really feel that you need a break a longer break than you've had and if you try and do something like a practice paper or loads and loads of questions then it could actually have a negative effect if you don't get them perfect you could just end up feeling worse about yourself so give yourself a break you are allowed to do useful busy things um you are allowed to use this time to prepare for year 13 um and you are allowed to well you're allowed to get things wrong if you do decide that you actually want to sit down and do the two hour maths paper um the other really really useful thing you could spend this time doing is thinking about what you're going to do afterwards um because 
things will happen really really quickly when we get to June because that's when schools start talking about things like UCAS and it can be really daunting can be really intimidating so I've got playlists that takes you through loads and loads of options things like gap year and a pre uh, degree apprenticeships where you work and someone else pays for you to do your degree but you still come out with a degree at the end but you've come out with a job at the end and you've been working while everyone else is off incurring loads and loads of debt or just going straight into work there were lots and lots of different things you can do and while you're maybe wanting to do something about school but not actually wanting to do something about school this is a useful thing you can spend your time doing thinking about the future um brainstorming a little bit about your personal statement don't start writing it yet just think of things you can be putting on it maybe think of things that are missing from it do you need to go and do some volunteer work or do you need to do your epq or something like that um so there are lots and lots of things you can be doing during this week week and a half until we go back to school that are not doing loads and loads of work when we get to about february i'll say that's where we need to february half term that's when we need to kick it up a gear a little bit and then when we get to easter that's when things will properly start working hard um but i'm going to be here with you every single step of the way guys i've got loads and loads of stuff coming out for a level um good luck <laughs>